Today's opening day for Lewis Barbecue in Greenville. They have big shoes to fill not only in the local restaurant scene, but in the community too. Our Kelsey O'Donnell is joining us live with what to expect. Hey Kelsey, how's it taste? Most important of all. Oh my goodness, I haven't been able to try it yet, but the smells are unbelievable, Gordon and Amy. I want to take a look, want you to take a look here. This is where the line is. It wraps all the way through the building and around outside as well. Now we spoke with the owners today who said they're really excited, but they've got some big shoes to fill as this is the former site of the Tommy's Country Ham House, a big staple in the community for over 30 years. Five minutes to line up, my friends. Five minutes to line up. After much anticipation, the wait is finally over as Lewis Barbecue opens for business Wednesday. So we have been working on this project for about two years. We uh, are in the old Tommy's Ham House building um, on Rutherford Street. A branch off of Charleston's Lewis Barbecue, co-owner Ben Garvey says he's excited to add their Texas-style restaurant to the Greenville barbecue scene. But it comes with a tall task of living up to the site's history. We have some big shoes to fill and we don't take that lightly. It's home of the former Tommy's Country Ham House, a staple in the city for more than 30 years. I, I, I really hate giving it up, you know, but uh, I was almost 80 years old. Former owner Tommy Stevenson says it was more than a restaurant. It was a site where the community gathered and contributed to some of the city's notable days in political history, welcoming in presidential candidates. When I built the restaurant, it was open, and, I, and open, that means that they could stand in the middle out there and speak to everyone here. I'll take a little barbecue, just a little bit of barbecue. So it only seemed yeah. fitting that Tommy was the first customer in line Wednesday, the beginning of a new chapter for Lewis Barbecue in Greenville. It's very nice of them doing that. that like I say, they're first class, and, uh, and I'm honored to, to be their first customer. And it's a step they're taking to honor the past and welcome in the new. In Charleston, we try to give back as much as we can, and we're going to um, excited to be part of a new community. As you can see, it's been a really exciting day. I want to give you a look at some of the things that are on the menu here. We've got some brisket, we've got some ribs, some pulled pork. My goodness, does this look so good. And the co-owners say they're really excited to be a part of this Greenville community. Live in Greenville, Kelsey O'Donnell, 7 News.